Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to be doing another model kit unboxing. This time it's gonna be on the Revel Porsche 934 RSR Valent. So we'll just have a quick look at the box first. Then there's the completed model. Whoa, <laughs> okay, accidentally hit my light. All right, so let's get into all the pieces. So I will be doing a video on the uh, the buildup of this kit, but I have to get the paint first. So that won't be coming immediately. It'll be coming, well, I honestly don't know because I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get paint. But anyway, we'll start here with the body. Uh, molded in green, but you don't have to paint this body if you don't want to, but I'm going to paint it because um, otherwise you can see through it and yeah, it gives it a more realistic look when you paint it. And I really like how Rebel added these window braces too, because uh, I ordered a Tamiya 934 RSR once from Amazon. They make one too. And when it arrived, um, the A-pillar was just crushed and I had to send it back. So um, Revel was definitely being very smart when they added those in. And next we have two front bumper options. So you can do this one with the mesh, um, it's just like flush. And then you can have this one where the vents are sunken in and it has an open grill with, and it has a separate piece. And then also on this sprue, we have the chassis. Next, we have some silver pieces. Okay, next we have some silver pieces. Um, and this is just some various engine parts and brake rotors. And then these optional uh, wheel covers. So you don't have to put those on if you don't want to. I probably will be because they look really cool. Here's some more green pieces. We have the hood and the trunk, and the hood looks to be hinged, but the trunk is just a removable piece. And then also we have a little tiny part. I can't even tell what that is. Kind of looks like a radio or something, but I guess we'll find out. And here we have pretty small sprue of black parts. We have the interior tub and the steering wheel and the mesh for the grill if you go with that opened option. Here's, um, oh, that fell off. That wasn't an actual piece though. Uh, we have some interior parts, roll cage parts and window nets, and then some really nice mesh for the rear, uh, wing or the rear spoiler. Here we have seats, um, a piece for the bottom of the car, I think, a roll cage piece, some windshield wipers, and just a lot of other interior parts. And the last black tree contains the rear bumper, the doors, the inside of the doors, the steering wheel column, and something else I don't really know what that is. Kind of looks like a distributor. So now here's the parts. I'm not going to open any of these bags, but you got four uh, uh, racing slicks and they're soft rubber. And I think they don't have any brand names, but there may or may not be decals to put on them. I'm not sure. Here we have the chrome tree with those really nice mesh wheels. And 
headlights. And I think these are fog lights because this car only has two headlights. So those might be some optional fog lights or something. And then the clear parts. Um, and it, yeah, these are just windows and lights. Nothing new in there. And finally, we have the decals and the instructions. Some very, very nice decals. All the Valent logos. And they even give you the, um, the rubber seals for the wide body. So that's really cool. That'll make it a lot easier than trying to hand paint those in. Maybe some seat belts. Very nice decal sheet. Plenty of detail on there. And the instructions, which this instruction book is really nice. It's probably one of the nicest ones I've had because it's all in color and it's really big. So very, very nice kit. I'm happy to have it. And quick shout out to Alex Bradley. I'll link his channel in the description. He does like uh, record unboxings and stuff like that um, because he got me this and I'm so grateful for it. So make sure you check out his channel if you like like old vintage records and stuff. So anyway, with that, this is going to be the end of the video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.